Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming back on again today to do a project share for Scrap David Designs. And here is Erica's card, her website, all of her other information, and make sure to follow the hashtag Scrap David Designs. Check out what everybody else is making. And the first project I'm going to share is the star nesting set. And these are the star nesting dies. Okay, I did have them looking nice. They just came off of the tape that's on here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dies. And let me get my um, ruler and I'll measure the largest one. I like that they're rounded. And it's about four and a half. And the tiniest one, if I can get that off of there. It's so tiny. This one is about three quarters of an inch. And when you do cut these dies out, you will get a solid piece and you'll also get a little um, like decorative piece that goes all the way around the edge. And I made a tag flip with mine. Oops, can't we find this? There we go. So I don't think I used the tiniest die. I did cut it out, the little star, and I was going to put it on one of my little tags, but never did. But here is the first one. I did put a little, um, a little bow charm. And here is the first star. I just put a stacked little mini envelope. And then I put a butterfly paper clip. And then here is the next size star. And here's what I mean. This was the smaller size, um, the smaller one before this one. And I just saved the little outline piece and glued it onto that. And then this one I sewed and I made a little pocket and put some little ephemera pieces in there. And then the next one, I just decorated it up. A little chunky, made a little flower here, and I think this is Cuddle Me Clay Tay. I still have a bunch of her flowers. And then this is the last one, and I just put a little um, charm. And then this is from last month, what I made. She had like a flower trio center, and then the... Um, the rosette it's the butterfly rosette and I made these I think last year but year and year and a half ago whenever they came out and I made a ton so I have a container full of these butterfly rosettes and I love them so hopefully I won't run out soon but that is my first little project okay isn't this pretty? Love this. And then the next die set is called the 3D Gift Box. And it does come with this piece on here. But when you open it up, um, there is another um, set of dies inside. I do believe this goes in here. But you have your, your base piece, then you have your layering piece, and all the layering pieces are stitched, which is nice. I do I did do some sewing on these. Sometimes I do not. And then these are the side pieces with your layering pieces. And then this piece here is the bottom, and then this is the part that flips up. And then you have this little oval and a little round shape, and you can make little embellishments to decorate. And I will share what I made. This is what I made. And I put little um, bead um, beads on the bottom for like little feet. And then this was from last month as well. I made a flower and put those um, flower center little thingies and made a big flower. And I just put some of the ephemera on. 
And then I made some little, this doesn't want to stick, but I made some little embellishments. And this is from her postage stamp die. I just made three little shakers and put this on here. And all I did was I cut out the layering piece. This piece here, and I just cut an inch off the bottom, and then I did do some sewing. Be that way you won't be able to tell that I had cut an inch off the bottom, and I did back it up with cardstock as well. And then here is the second one, and these are those dies that I said you could make embellishments out of. Made one here and two here. I love tiny little embellishments. And then these were the last project that I had made her little um, 3D vial, the mini vial gift box thingies. I've already shared those, but they do fit in here. And then I did make a pokey tool. I said I wasn't gonna get into making pokey tools, but I did make one. I got these off of um, Hobby Lobby because I liked that it had this thing and I didn't have to use glue. And then I just put a little thing Oh, and I put it on backwards. I just noticed. Or wait a minute. No, I didn't. It goes this way, and it spells out bloom. Sorry. Duh. And then the next one I made, I just made a pen to stick inside here. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff inside here. So I have a beaded pen, a pokey tool. There's some beads inside this, and then there is a little charm dangle inside there. But I did want to point out that I made another piece in mine so it kind of separates it makes it look like it's layered up I was going to put this back further and then make it um, three layers so what I did for that was the this piece here is this back piece so I just cut it out again and I do believe I cut an inch off the bottom of this and then I just folded those tabs in so that way it was higher in the back and then like a layered piece just to give it a different look um, I thought it came out really cute but like I said you get I fit a pokey tool a pen some beads, a little bead dangle. You could probably fit, there's a lot more room in here. And then some little mini embellishments. You can definitely fit like a little, a couple more packages of little embellishments up in this part. See, I put some tiny little foam, little thingies there. They just don't wanna stay on. So I'll have to put some different foam. But this definitely is great for um, sending happy mail or doing a swap because you can fit all of your stuff right into one little container. And I did not decorate the back, but I plan on it. And she has from, I think it was like two months ago, maybe. Um, there's like little pockets that you can cut out and I thought I would stick a pocket on the back. Then you could put a memory dex card in the back or more um, embellishments, but super cute for Happy Mail. And those are my project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. And I will leave the links down below to these dies. And I do have a coupon code, which is Davina10, and you can save 10% off of your order. And here's Erica's card again. And thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy your night. Bye.